This video demonstrates how to troubleshoot the device onboarding failure on Wagia Cloud. After a device is onboard to Wagia Cloud, you can remotely manage and configure the device on the cloud. If the device status is displayed in gray, the device is disconnected and cannot be managed on the cloud. The reasons why a device cannot be onboard to Wagia Cloud are as follows. The following video will describe the troubleshooting methods for different fault causes. When entering a device SN different from the actual SN to onboard a device to Wagia Cloud, you will fail to onboard the device for management. Log into the eWeb management page of the device and check the device SN on the home page. Check whether the entered device SN is the same as that entered and you attempt to onboard the device to Wagia Cloud. You are advised to copy the device SN from the eWeb management page and enter it on Wagia Cloud to avoid manual input errors. If the device SN is entered correctly but the device still cannot be onboard to Wagia Cloud, proceed with the next step. If a device cannot connect to the internet due to various reasons, the device cannot be onboard to Wagia Cloud for management. Log into the eWeb management page of the device, choose Diagnostics. Network Tools. Set tool to ping, type to IPv4, an IP address or domain to 8.8.8.8. .8 Click Start. If the ping operation fails, check the network device configuration. Log into the eWeb management page of the device and check whether an IP address is configured for the WAN port. If a switch is used, check whether its uplink and downlink ports allow packets from the corresponding VLANs to pass through. If a gateway is used, check whether the network address translation NAT, function is configured. The NAT function is enabled on the EG device by default. After modifying the device configuration, repeat the preceding steps. If you ping 8.8.8.8 successfully and receive data packets but the device still cannot be onboard to Wagia Cloud, proceed with the next step to troubleshoot the fault. Log into the eWeb management page of the device and ping the default URL of Wagia Cloud. Choose Diagnostics. Network Tools. Set tool to ping, type to IPv4, an IP address or domain to the default URL of Wagia Cloud. Click Start. If the ping operation succeeds, check whether the IP address and domain name parsed by the device match the country or region to which the device belongs. For details, contact technical support engineers. Log into the eWeb management page and choose System. Cloud Service. Click Configure Cloud Service and set the cloud server based on the location. Log into the eWeb management page of the device. Choose Advanced. Local DNS and set Local DNS Server to 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. If the uplink device is a firewall or has the firewall function enabled, you can configure a security policy to allow the device to access the URL of Wagia Cloud. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.